Hey guys, it's Kristen from Covering the Basis and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going through how I curl my hair. Um, I've done a new system since the last time I updated you guys and this is just more of like a beachy, um, easy everyday curl kind of wave. Everyday wave kind of curl. I don't know. So I want to show you guys how I get this do. Um, so if you want to see more, just keep watching. I wash my hair with this Dove Intensive Repair Shampoo. Um, it's just like generic Dove. And so I'm going to take my wet brush. This is a wet brush compact, so it can like fold into itself. Um, I bring this wherever I go, but because I do that, um, it just has become my everyday brush. And then I'm going to spray my hair with, it's a 10 um, Miracle Leave-In product. Um, this stuff is awesome. I've let my hair dry some. Um, I haven't touched it, and so we're just going to spray this in on the other side. And then we're going to brush it out. So what I like to do is I just usually grab a section or grab the whole thing and start brushing that out. The Miracle Leave-In Conditioner really helps to kind of detangle um, and condition your hair. I do not use conditioner in the shower um, just because I feel like it. my hair can be pretty greasy. So I just decide to not do that and then probably like once a month I'll do a leave-in conditioner in the shower, um, which is also by it's a 10. So now that it is all brushed out, we are going to kind of run our fingers through it just to separate it some. And then we're going to add in two drops of the Moroccan oil. I've been using this for probably eight plus years. Um, and I think it's like the best thing to really protect your hair. So I just do two pumps. It looks like that. And then put it all over my hands. And I like to work it into the bottom. Um just like the ends, and then kind of work it into the top when there's less product. Because you don't want to put like straight oil on your roots, especially for girls who have oily hair. And whatever's left over, massage in the hands. I love the way this smells. And then next, we're gonna dry our hair. I use the Bioionic 10X hair dryer. Um, this is a hair dryer that I mean, it just has so much power. I like it more than the Dyson one, and I used to use the dry bar one. I swear by it. You can buy it at like Nordstrom and Sephora. I don't really have any method to this madness. I just blow dry until it's dry. So you stop when you feel it's like 98% dry. Um, there's just a couple of damp areas. I'm going to plug in my curling wand. So this is a T3 micro, um, I think with a one and a half inch barrel. So I'm just gonna plug this in and warm it up. Um, I use it on the hottest setting, but that's just me. And now is when we're gonna part it. And I kind of let the part set itself, depends on the day. Brush this side out. So you can see like, there's like a few damp spots right in here. This one we're gonna blow dry it like straight. And now, um, we're going to take the blow dryer and we're just going to blow dry it down and really focus on any damp areas. My camera battery just, or my memory card is full, um, but I basically just missed me drying the rest of the side of the hair. And then I opened up the door because it was getting a little hot in here. Okay, so now that our hair is completely dry, what we're going to do is we're going to start to curl it. So I have a new style of curling, which for me... Um, which is basically just like a messy beachy wave. My hair is really soft, but um, it does a good job of holding a curl. So we're just gonna go with it. So I'm just gonna take like a one inch section um, from the back, actually a little bit less. Back is where I struggle the most. These always come undone early. We're gonna take our wand, which is heated up, um, and we're gonna wrap, you're gonna hold the end, and you're just gonna wrap it and you're gonna hold out the ends, like an inch off the end. So before, what I used to do is I used to make sure that it was flat all the way through. Um, I'll show you in a second what I mean. I'm just gonna hold it there for 
like 10 to 15 seconds and then just let it fall there are two ways to kind of curl your hair with a wand um, one way is to make sure each piece of the hair is completely flat against the wand so this is where it's flat so you can see how I'm like twirling my fingers to make sure it's completely flat against the wand so you can see that it's like completely filled I don't know how to explain it but you can see where it's this <laughs> completely flat all the way down um, and you can see the type of curl that gives versus the type of curl this gives so this is completely flat and I'll show you what I mean with the other one so take the same piece put it against the barrel and then just wrap it and you can kind of see how it gets twisted towards the end that's the difference and we still leave the ends out curl a little bit if you want and so the difference is one looks like this and the other looks like this so you can see that they really give two different types of curls you can do like a little bit of both throughout um, I kind of just do whatever I feel like on that one there's no rhyme or reason because um, you don't want it to look completely together so you just wrap it um, make sure to leave the ends out and sometimes I'll leave more time on the hair sometimes I'll leave less it's really just about kind of like getting like a PC look to it you can see I wrapped I twirled that one one thing I definitely always do make sure of especially on this like on either side is that you're curling away from your face um, I know that some people do forwards and back um, but I like them to all be in unison in the sense that they're all facing the same direction and so what you're going to do is you're just going to leave them in these curls. Don't touch them. Don't brush them out. Don't even look at them. So you can kind of see that I'm just kind of doing whatever. So with the ones on top, I definitely like to go a little higher um, towards the root. Just so I can get more curl. For the bottom ones, obviously you care more about the bottoms because that's what is shown. And I separated this out just because my layers are on top and it's easier for me to wrap hair that's all the same length. And then for the front ones, we definitely want them to frame the face. So I'm going to start a little lower and kind of hold it out like this. Hold these for a little bit longer. Still holding it pretty far away just so the f the first ring can kind of come around the eyebrow okay so you can see that was pretty quick painless um, and what we're gonna do is we're still gonna leave them like this except for the top I'm just gonna brush out so it doesn't come up with any creases we're gonna spray this side um, just to give it a little bit of hold I'm gonna use the Redken control addict 28 and just kind of spritz a piece needs to be recalled. So what I did is I sprayed it and then I kind of crunched it up um, as to not disrupt the curls but to make sure that the spray was really getting in there. So this is how it looks right now. curl this one they got missed and I only really spray um, I like to definitely spray a lot underneath and then spray really at the bottom I want to keep all of this up top clean so this is how it looks right now just kind of messy you can see how some of them look a little different but they all kind of look overall the same so I'm gonna do the other side and I will be right back okay so we just finished the other side I haven't put any spray or anything in it, so this is what it looks like, and then I'm just kind of go through the top and then add the Redken hairspray. So there it is. 
Now what we're gonna do is gonna freak you out, but we're gonna run our fingers through the hair, just the bottom parts. Just very gently. It will not lose your curl, I promise. So just do that. See how it pieced out. And then we're gonna grab the Orbe texturizing spray and only hit the bottoms. And for this, just kind of being messy with it. See how that turned out? Very beachy, easy waves. That kind of look similar, but not totally. And then we'll do the same with this side. And then you gotta piece those out. And that is it. That's how you get the curly beachy waves. Pretty easy, simple. Here it is from the back. So that is about it. Um, if you have any extra questions or anything, just leave them below and I will get back to you. Um, please make sure to like and subscribe so I know that you guys like these types of videos and I can keep creating more. Um, until then, I will see you guys next week.